On today's show, we're going to share with you a new video from Audio Control. That's right. Today we're going to talk about one of the many configurations you can do on an LC7i. So stay tuned. Okay, so today we're going to wrap up the LC7i. This is video number three. Uh, if you aren't aware of it, we have two other videos. We have a three-way. Yes. Uh, we also have a two-way summed plus sub. sub. Today we're going to do, today's show, <laughs> we're going to do, I have a radio that has front rear outputs. So basically two sets, front and rear. Okay. And we're going to take that into our LC7i. We're going to have six channel output, front rear sub with AccuBase. So, how exciting, right? What are you talking about? I know. So... If you got a factory radio, yes. and it's basic, which some of them are, they just have front and rear output, uh, cool. Some of them, or if it has front and rear sub, doesn't matter, pretty much apply the same way. But if it has front and rear, uh, and we want to add this guy to it, mm -hmm. let's do it. So, real quick, shameless plug, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please leave them in the comments, and we'll get back to you. Uh, you can find us, if you like our videos, Please subscribe. Yes. Uh, we do a ton of them. Uh, and if you like us and you want to know more about us, you can find us on Facebook, Instagram, as well as here on YouTube. Yes. That's awesome. Shameless plug over. Let's get back to it. So let's go around and see what this bad boy looks like. Real quick, we have our RTA here for a visual representation of sound. If you do not have one, your ears will work pretty well. I'm That's just saying. Awesome. <laughs> if you do want to buy one, though, it is called the PPA3, and you can pick one up on Amazon. Ooh. What do we do? How do we set it up? Well, conveniently enough, you have no setup to do. If you want to pull the top off just to take a look at it, of course, I'll unplug the power, take a look. Uh, these two guys here, your summing jumpers, uh, they're not going to be summed, they're going to be separate. And then down here, the auto mode, you're going to want to leave that on. That's that factory default, so you really don't even have to take the cover off if you open it up, and this is the application you're going to do. Just leave it alone, plug it in, and get to work. Plug it in. Plug it in. All right, so let's take a look here. We have front input, rear input. We have our output. We have a full, nice full signal going across. Let's take a look at rear. Rear looks pretty much the same, so we're good there. Now let's come over here and let's look at sub. All right, so there's sub. So now what we got going on is channel, the rear channels, channel two, and the auto mode is feeding channel three, so we don't have to put anything in here. Now, if let's say you had a car that had a factory sub, well, first you had front rear and sub, you could run that in and then the auto mode jumper, turn that on or turn it off, and then you'd have you know your subwoofer back through here. In this case, we don't. We just have four channel output. So we got this, we're hooked up. Now, subwoofer over here, you can see it kind of sucks. So we want to turn on our AccuBase, turn this bad boy, do its magic, give us some more boom. We got tons of bass now. Uh, AccuBase is a cool little toy. Uh, it's not really a toy, it's a cool little EQ circuit. If you'd like to know more on how to set up the AccuBase, check out our video on the LC2i. We talk all about how to set up AccuBase, what AccuBase is, and walk you through the steps necessary to hook it up. So check that one out if you'd like to learn more about AccuBase. All right, we're killing it with the Maximize. We'll turn that down a little bit. Back it off, there we go. All right, so we got a nice boomy system. Who likes the boom? Okay, so this concludes our three videos we have done on the LC7i. We hope they've been informative. There again, if you do have questions about it or we didn't talk about something that you want to know more about, ask us in the comments and we'll do the best we can to try to explain it to you. Um, as you can see, this is a very helpful tool in the arsenal of car audio. Yes. This allows us to take things like these or, God forbid, something like this <laughs> and hook a amplifier up to it. Yes and make it sound good and as we've said in the past we understand not all of you have rtas it's cool still use your ears your ears are your ears will not fail you 
Unless you're deaf. In which case, what? You're screwed. What? Yeah. Okay. All right. So, cool. Thanks for watching, guys. As always, uh, we really appreciate everything that you do for us. Yes. Do they do anything for us? Yes, they do. A lot of questions. Oh, they keep me up at night answering questions. Yeah, questions. right. <laughs> all right. Cool. Hey. Whatever, say all your Yeah, shit. so you guys can find us on Facebook, uh, YouTube, and Instagram. And please, if you like the video, subscribe. There you go. All right, and as usual, have a great night. We'll see you next time. Bye.